Hey everyone, welcome back to Bleach Brave Souls. And guys, it's almost the end of the month, so you know what that means. The end of the month characters are coming out in a few days. And most likely, but not 100%, I think we're going to be getting Valentine's Day characters. Yeah, if we look back, back in the day, in 2016, they gave us the first Valentine's Day banner. And that had four characters, Rukia, uh, Nelio, Momo, and Yachiru. But then the next year, in 2017, guys, we did not actually get any Valentine's Day characters. We got the uh, Lost Agent uh, Rukia, Renji, and uh, we got uh, Riruka. But they did reissue the original Valentine's Day characters. So that year, 2017, we didn't get any new Valentine's Day characters. But then the following year, in 2018, we got new Valentine's Day characters once again, which was uh, Halibel, Nanao and Yoruichi. So it's not 100% guaranteed that we're going to get Valentine's Day characters, but I think there's a very high chance, guys. So I'm going to go off that assumption that we are getting those characters. But who knows? They could always throw us a curveball and, you know, just release something totally out of the blue. But that being said, I want to speculate on the potential candidates for this year's uh, Valentine's Day banner. And there's quite a few, guys. So if I bring up the screen here that I compiled, uh, I tried to think of every uh, female character in Bleach that could potentially have a shot at becoming a end-of-the-month banner character. And there's a lot, guys, and I might even be forgetting a few, but uh, for this video, I think I'm going to rule out uh, any of the past Valentine's Day girls getting a new version. Now, that means Rukia, Neliel, Momo, Yachiru, Halibel, uh, Nanao, and Yoruichi most likely will not be getting Valentine's Day versions because they already had one. Now, this is not always the case, guys. And uh, they've done this before where, you know, like a character like Soifon has two swimsuit versions. Uh, Orihime has two Halloween versions. So you never know with K-Labs. I mean, there's still a chance that one of these characters might make it in again. But uh, I, I think it's less likely because there's a lot of other girls that, you know, need their time to shine. So... Uh, I divided this list into different tiers, and the first tier, I think this group of characters has the best shot at becoming banner characters. And you see some pretty popular uh, Bleach girls on there, guys. Uh, of course, the thickness, Rangiku. Rangiku has not had a seasonal variant in quite a long time, guys. I, I think she only has the Halloween one, and that is old AF. So I think Rangiku has a very, very high chance of making it into a Valentine's Day banner, assuming that there will be one. Uh, also, Orihime, she's another very popular character. I think she has less of a shot because uh, she recently had a seasonal variant for the swimsuit. But, you know, if you think back, guys, Halibel had like three seasonal variants in a row. So you never know. Orihime is one of the main girls in Bleach, and uh, it's not beyond a reasonable suspicion to think that they'll do her again. Uh, Riruka, same deal. Riruka's already had a lot of seasonal variants, so I hope they don't do Riruka. Uh, sorry, James. Sorry, James Hansen. Uh, Retsu, Retsu also had... Retsu and Nemu both had Christmas versions recently, so I think they might be out. Uh, Soifon has a chance. There's always a chance for Soifon. She's been getting a lot of seasonal love lately. Uh, Isane. Isane's another character that's underutilized in this game. She only has that one red version. I think that's the only one. And uh, it's way old, guys. So she may be due for a seasonal uh, Valentine's Day version. And, of course, the Visored girls, they're always a wild card. You never know. Uh, you know Lisa, he, Lisa's pretty popular. Mashiro is pretty popular. I'm not so sure about Hiyori, but uh, I could see them... I could see K-Lab doing something sexy for Lisa or Mashiro. Uh, those girls, you know, don't write them off. They might be candidates. All right, so those are the main uh, Bleach girls that I think have the best shot at being Valentine's Day characters. Now... In the third list, I'm going to put on the screen, guys. These are characters that I think have an outside possibility. Uh, you'll see I have Jackie, Uru, Apache, Mila Rose, and Soon Soon. And, you know, uh, Uru, she's a minor character, but she did get a Christmas version, guys. And I think the other girls, they're around at that level of Uru. Or maybe they're even a little bit more uh, above Uru as far as uh, in terms of popularity. But and, and they do have a lot of screen time. So I think that this tier of characters, you know, they have a, like, an outside possibility. You know, Jackie, Apache, Milo, Rose, and Soon Soon, uh, most likely. Uh, if, they, if they're looking to do, like, one Soul Reaper, one Arankar, and one something else, uh, look, for, look for Apache, Milo, Rose, and Soon Soon to be actual threats for Valentine's Day. Um, okay, so those are, those are the third tier. Uh, fourth tier, guys, uh, these are characters I feel have a very low chance of making it as Valentine's Day. Uh, you have Kukaku, 
Lolly and Menali, uh, Lil Annette, Kione, if you remember who Kione is, Kione is uh, Isane's sister. Very little screen time for that character. Tatsuki and Chizuru, Ichigo's uh, schoolmates. Uh, same thing with them, very, very low chance. Uh, Tatsuki, maybe, she's kind of has uh, more screen time than most of Ichigo's classmates. Uh, Karen, Yuzu, and Misaki. Um, I just threw those in there because, you know, they're girls and they have to be on the list. But Misaki, how cool would that be if they just threw us a Misaki out of nowhere? Because Misaki does have a voice actor, I believe, uh, in the anime. Uh, she's only shown in a few flashbacks, but I think she did speak in them. So that might be an outside possibility. And I threw Ikumi in there just because. Because she's a girl and she has to be placed somewhere. But I, I think there's a very low chance for Ikumi to make it. So uh, that character's in this list. Outside possibility, guys. But don't get your hopes up. And finally, the final group of characters, group of girls, group of waifus that I think, you know, you have to include are the, are the filler or movie uh, waifus. So that would include Nozomi, Senna, Rorichio, Yin and Yang, and Homura. So those, some of them are from the movies, so I, they might be ruled out immediately. I don't know if K-Lab can use those movie characters for seasonal variants. I actually doubt it. So maybe Nozomi. Nozomi, I think, would be all right. I would be okay with Nozomi. I do like Nozomi as a filler character. Uh... Yeah, she, she was cool, so I wouldn't mind seeing Nozomi. But um, like I said, guys, uh, I think the most likely candidates will be the more popular Bleach girls. So like the Rangikus, the Orihimes, uh, you know, uh, maybe Isane even. Isane needs another version in this game. She is by far the most neglected character on the top tier uh, women's list. So, uh, And the other ones already had versions before, so like recently. So like, you know, characters like Retsu, Namu, Riruka, they've all had their versions recently. Uh, the Visored Girls too, like I said earlier, could be a threat because you know, they don't have that many seasonal variants. I think Christmas was the last time any Visored Girl got a seasonal variant, but I might be wrong, guys. Uh, there's a lot of characters that have been released in BBS, and I can't remember every single one, but just off the top of my head, I don't think the Visored Girls have gotten much attention. Uh, and there's a lot of potential for those girls, too. Like, like I said earlier, Lisa, you know, you, you, I can imagine her wearing some kind of sexy outfit for Valentine's Day, you know? Um, Lingerie, please. Lingerie banner. I don't mind fan service, you know, once in a while. Just not all the time. All right, guys. So uh, I'm not going to, you know, give you my top. Uh, well, I will give you my top three picks. I think it's going to be Rangiku for sure, a lock. Uh, I'd like to see, I would like to see uh, Isane because, like I said, she hasn't gotten much screen time in BBS. And I think, you know, to be honest, I'm going to go with a sleeper pick. For my third Valentine's Day character, I think they're going to choose an Arankar, somebody f to represent Cueco Mundo. So I'm going to go with, uh, not Apache, not soon. Uh, I'm going to go with Soon Soon. I'm going to go with Soon Soon because I just don't like Apache and uh, Mila Rose. A little bit too, uh, too muscular for me. So uh, that's all I have, guys. Let me know your predictions for Valentine's Day. Will we be getting a Valentine's Day banner? I think that's almost 100% certainty, but you never know. Like in uh, 2017, they didn't do a Valentine's Day banner. So, I mean, they might be giving us something totally new. You know, who knows? They might just drop the book characters out of nowhere. But anyway, guys, let me know your predictions. Uh, and yeah, just leave it in the comments below. So thanks for watching, everyone. We'll find out in a few days what the banner will be. So this video is not going to be relevant very long, but... I figured it would be good for us to start thinking about it anyway. Okay, guys, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.